The Iranian regime kicked me out from Iran, but they couldn't take Iran out of me. Through my social media, I am there every day. We are invisible in Iran. If we don't cover ourselves, we don't exist. But through my social media, people take their visibility back. I'm a journalist, activist, and an author. Social media is like my weapon, you know, because we don't have freedom of expression in Iran. When you turn on the TV, all you see is just women in hijab. So you see the Iran that the Iranian regime wants you to see. But this is not the true face of my beloved country. Go on social media. That's the true image of Iran. You see women unveiled. You see women dancing, singing. You see men and women shoulder to shoulder without any censorship. I made many documentaries about ordinary women through my social media. When the Iranian regime killed innocent protesters, the mothers didn't know what to do. I didn't do anything wrong. I just told them, you can keep your camera like this. I talked to them and I told them, this is how you can be your own media. Then all the mainstream media are gonna follow your page, your Instagram, your social media. Just go and check the hashtag. My camera is my weapon. You will see that how women were challenging morality police, how women were bitten up in the hand of morality police in the streets, but shouting loudly that I'm not gonna cover myself. Women of White Wednesdays, 15-year-old girls, 16-year-old girls, they were shouting that we don't want compulsory hijab. We deserve to have platform, freedom to be heard. That's why I created another hashtag for the women of the Middle East, which is called Let Us Talk. We, the women of Iran and Afghanistan, we deserve to be heard. Now, sitting here, I'm a master criminal in the eyes of Iranian regime because I show my hair, I have too much voice, I'm loud, I sing, I dance, I ride a bicycle, I shake hand with men, I go to stadium. So I'm a master criminal in the eyes of the mullahs in Iran. Four women of White Wednesdays are in prison right now. And, and, and I felt guilty, I mean, because all the people around me, media around me, politicians, everyone saying that, don't you feel guilty that these young women are going to prison just because you called uh, on women to remove their hijab? I did. I was going to shut down the campaign. What happened? Immediately, Sabah's mother, Yasaman's mother, took videos of themselves waving white headscarves and saying that now we are the voice of our daughters. And I was like, whew. When these mothers now joining the young generation, then why should I stop the campaign? These are like Rosa Parks of Iran, you know? These are like women of suffrages, and that's why, you know, I'm not gonna feel guilty. Those who lashes women should feel guilty. Those who put women in prison should feel guilty. When women of Iran know that freedom is not free, then I'm with them.